Hey world, welcome back, Jessica Kirsch here. I am down in Boca Chica, Texas with Starship SN10, also SN7.2, dink, SN10, dink, and Starhopper. I'm here with a friend who posts almost every day, almost every day, pretty much um, on Twitter. His handle on Twitter is at Dayton, D-A-Y-T-O-N, Coslo, C-O-S-T-L-O-W. I'm trying to make a little song out of it so people can remember. Dayton Coslo. You probably already follow him, but if you don't, go over to his Twitter, hit follow, and also hit notifications. I don't know why I'm doing this because I have a mic on me right here. So I'm going to have Dayton step over and just kind of give you a little update. Hi. This is him right here, and I'm going to step out of the frame and... So we have SN10 on the pad here, and uh, TFRs are posted right now for the 1st through the 3rd. So provided the weather holds, hopefully we're going to have a launch here pretty soon. We're still waiting on an official notification as to uh, how the static fire went yesterday. I heard it from South Padre Island, and quite honestly, it sounded pretty good. And uh, that's kind of where we're at with it right now. We're also uh, adding, I guess, can slightly over here. They are painting what appears to be the SpaceX logo on the landing pad, Woo so which I find pretty cool. So it's just constant progress out here. Can I chime in there? Yep. I can't wait to purchase a t-shirt with whatever they're painting right there. It could be a doge coin or a doge. How do you say it? Doge? Doge. Doge. Do you guys think that they're going to paint a doge on the side of SN10 or SN11? What do you think? Put it in the comments. What's what you want to do? And as Jessica mentioned, this is SN 7.2 here, the smaller container that you see. And that is out of the new three millimeter stainless steel. So Elon's looking to shave about 25% of the mass technically off of the rocket. And by uh, reducing from four millimeter down to three millimeter, we, we achieve that. And uh, hopefully we have a lighter weight, thrust to weight ratio for the drive mass of the rocket. So these are just all things, little tweaks to uh, the rocket equation, essentially. It's gonna get you to orbit faster and with better efficiency so yes sweet thanks so much Dayton. i appreciate your knowledge and your twitter feed is something that i check pretty much every day sometimes i can't keep up because there's so much coming in which is a really good problem to have so stay up to date with Dayton on twitter i'm trying to get him set up with the youtube maybe he'll agree maybe not but he's got a lot of footage a lot of photos he is based over in South Padre Island and he has, he's in the now. So it's really cool to have him as a friend. And I actually had him on my live stream for a static fire. When was that? It was not this, not yesterday, but. The one with the fire, the one. Whenever it was before I left Phoenix. The one with Phoenix. the suspect Raptor engine. Yes. The one with the suspect Raptor engine, said Dayton. <laughs> he's like as big as a nerd as I am. Maybe even bigger. It's pretty cool. So anyway, here we are. Today, the, today's date is, I don't have a watch on, but I'm looking there. It's February 26, 2021. It's the time. <laughs> He's got his time in military time. <laughs> For my friends overseas, it is, how do you say it? 1500? 1550. 1550 right now, which is 350. 3, 3, 50 p.m. Central Standard Time here in Boca Chica, Texas. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Stay up to date. If you want to see more Starship updates, if you want to see what they're painting on the center of the hello, at the center of the uh, landing pad. Oops, where's it at? Burr, 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 burr. There it is. Uh, stay tuned. And yeah, stay tuned.